Hey guys, this is HK with Tech Wrapped. Now in this video, let's talk about MIUI 10 on Poco phone aka Poco F1. So you can install it on your locked bootloader Poco F1 2 and about how to install this ROM, it is same as manually installing any OTA update. So first download the MIUI 10 recovery ROM from the links in the video description, transfer it to your phone's internal storage, then go to settings about phone, system update. 3 dot menu at the top right corner, choose the update package, select the file explorer you wanna use, pick the ROM you just transferred and click OK. As you can see the ROM is getting decrypted on my bootloader lock phone but guys by installing this ROM the entire internal storage gets wiped so take a backup of all the important files you have on internal storage and then only start upgrading. So the upgrade process took about 5 minutes to get to the MIUI 10 start screen and if the previous MIUI 9 ROM has Mi account logged in, then you need to activate your device again by using the password or OTP from your Mi account email address or mobile number. So yeah, I'm done setting everything. No new themes in this ROM, the same POCO theme and other two standard MIUI themes. This is the home screen, the same POCO launcher, nothing changed. Settings panel is also same as MIUI 9 with respect to UI and options except that now you have a separate tab for security status. So let's check the OS version going to the settings about phone. As you can see the MIUI version is 8.9.13 based on Oreo 8.1.0 with August security patch. There is also a new weekly update available as of today for 8.9.20 version. Update size is 271 MB. And it's a bug fix update so no visible changes. I'm not gonna drag much about the MIUI 10 features because the MIUI 10 on this phone is nothing special. It has nothing extra if you compare it to the MIUI 10 beta or stable versions for other Xiaomi phones. So first you have a new redesigned notification panel and quick settings. It's the same which you have already seen. The only difference is the icons for the quick toggles and which is because of the pre-installed POCO F1 theme. And also you would notice a new blurred out transition effect every time you open the quick settings or the notification panel. Just below the notification panel you have a new brightness slider and below the brightness slider you have data usage stats. Next we have the new volume slider. By default you can adjust the media volume and enable silent mode within the slider and if you hit the 3 dot menu you can adjust the volume for media, notifications, alarms and enable and set countdown timers for D&D &D and silent modes. Next up is the new recents menu, you can slide left or right on the tab to close it. When you long press on any tab you get multiple options to lock the tab, enable split screen mode and go to the specific app settings page. Next up are the new full screen gestures. Apart from the ones you have already seen on MIUI 9, now you can swipe left or right from the edge of the screen in top area to trigger app action like opening hamburger menu and now you can switch to the previous app by swiping left or right from the edge of the screen and holding it for a while. I don't know what I was doing wrong, the second gesture never worked for me and every time I tried it I ended up just going back. Next now you can enable battery percentage within the status bar by going to the settings, notifications and status bar tab and change battery indicator from graphical to percentage but it's only visible within the battery icon. About the question is this MIUI 10 ROM any better compared to the MIUI 9 one with respect to the bugs and issues? I would say not. Apart from the new UI elements everything is the same. Of course you still have the light bleed which is a hardware issue and cannot be fixed by an OTA. You still have compatibility issues with Play Store apps and games. Asphalt 9 is still not downloadable from Play Store and PUBG is not fully compatible with POCO F1 either. As you can see the notch cuts away the part of the game screen even though the notch is hidden within the full screen display and for this very reason I stopped playing PUBG on this phone as it was very distracting. Even with the gameplay I did notice some stutters every now and then but I did not encounter any issues regarding multi-touch. 
Also with the full screen gestures enabled, you cannot go back to the home screen or the recents menu while playing this game. So you cannot minimize the game and every time you wanna do it, you need to exit the game. But with the on screen navigation bar enabled, there is no such problem. As you can see, I can minimize the game and get back to it without any problem. So that's it about the MIUI 10 global beta on POCO phone. Do like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. And also if you have any other questions regarding POCO F1 or the ROM itself, do post a comment. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon next time.